And now I want to talk about the Sketcher in 3D Experience. So there have been a lot of really nice improvements here that I haven't gotten into and I really want to start exploring. So the first one is when I say just go in and draw a profile, all right? You'll see some familiar palettes and things of that nature, but what you'll also notice is as I'm drawing, I have the display of length straight away. So this allows you to see, oh, am I drawing something big, something small? What am I doing? And that display is really nice to have. So I'll put in my first line, and there you see not only a length, but you also now have an angle come into the next and as I'm drawing you'll note I still have the potential to create or as you can see visualize constraints as uh, we have here and it wants to be parallel to that line if you don't want that you just you know move the line very similar to uh, what we've had in the past and I'll go in and close off that profile now the moment I close it off we have this little pop-up that comes up. So we have fix and horizontal and vertical, etc., etc., and equal. And I get that when I have something selected in the sketch. Now, the action is the same as it's always been when I'm drawing a profile. As I draw the profile, and once I close off that profile, all of the curves in the profile are selected. So that's why I get that little pop-up. Now, note I moved away. If I come over to these lines now and right mouse click, I don't get the pop-up, but I get that window, the menu, with the very same selections as I had in the little pop-up. Okay, So if it goes away, then you can still go in and get it by right mouse clicking over the top, not just over the window, over the top of one of those lines. Now I'm just going to deselect everything. When I go in there and pick this line, note I get the little pop-up again. So with this, what do I want to do? And you'll note I have all these options. Now I'm not going to cover everything here. I'm just talking about the basics of the interface. And I'm going to get into how to use some of these options. So for example, if I pick these two lines, hold the control key, select this line, you'll note that I have the ability to go in there. These are the things that the system is assuming that I want with my selections. I can say equal, and now those lines are equal length. So they will always and forever be equal length because of the constraint that's on there. Okay, I pick a point. Now notice on that point I have corners and chamfers. Okay, so if I if I trap, notice there's my corner. Okay, so that little pop-up is giving you a little idea of, hey, this is what I think is next. A little artificial intelligence thing going on there. Okay, It's really nice. It speeds things up. It really does. So when you're going in there, and if you're new to 3D experience, and say you're coming off of V5 or a different CAD system, now you want to get used to these little pop-ups because they allow you to select things much quicker. Now, I don't have to pick it there, right? I don't have to pick anything out of that pop-up. I can come down here and say, well, maybe I want to go into corner. Okay. Um, there's some new inputs going on over here that I'll talk about in a later video. I'm just, again, talking about the interface at this point. And I'm just going to select yes to that and place that in there. All right. So I could have, I'm just going to undo that. I'll do my trap. I want to go in a corner. Again, just select yes for now. And get the exact same thing. I don't have to go down to the toolbar. Okay, I don't have to go down to that ribbon. I have to go and pick anything out of here if it's in that little pop-up, which I find very fast. It's very nice to have that kind of interaction. Right? It's right at the mouse. Now, obviously, if it's not there in the little pop-up, the command or what it is you're looking to do isn't there, you can always go down here and pick it. So 
again, uh, I know a lot of people get, you know, get frustrated with new things. I got all these things popping up. You know, what do I do? How do I want to do it? Well, okay. You know, just get used to the new tools. Okay, work your way into using them more and more because they are increasing your efficiency as a designer. And oftentimes, it's answering a question that a new designer might have. Okay, so those suggestions are intelligence. They're based off of intelligence built into the system. So by looking at this little pop-up, okay, oftentimes it may answer the question. Is it possible to do this? Is it possible to do that? What is the next step? That type of thing. All right. So those suggestions, you know, 70, 80 percent of the time will solve the problem. OK, so get used to those little suggestions. And again, if you move away and then a little pop up goes away, you can right mouse click, go in and you'll see some of those suggestions some of the things right you'll there's your compliment there's your close art fit stuff like that <clears throat> some of these tools some of this is available in v5 as well all right it's uh you know when you do the right mouse click and you go into the sub menus like this okay that stuff is there as well but um the nice thing about 3d experience is again it offers us additional intelligent functionality okay so uh, with that we go ahead and undo 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 just undoing everything that I've done I'm gonna pick this line and again hold the control key down again I did not go and tell it I wanted to apply a constraint I just picking those lines what do I want to do? Okay, I want to make them equal. I can go into constraint. It gives me my constraint, and then I can right mouse click and say perpendicular. Okay, maybe I want to go here. Hold the control key down to here. Okay, we get that. Go into constraint, right mouse click. Maybe I want those to be parallel. So again, getting used to those interactions. You're taking the step out of having to go down to the ribbon and find a tool, okay? A lot of that stuff is now right there. It's just figuring out when do you right mouse click, what icon to use, etc. all right? And again, the nice thing about these tools is that oftentimes what you're looking for is right there on that little pop-up. I can go into constraint. Yeah, yeah, there's my distance. What's my length? And now when I go in to put in my length, I don't have to double click on it. It automatically says, oh, what's your value? Well, I want this at 150. Okay. I want this and this. I'm gonna go like this, constraint. Now I had a parallel on there a moment ago. Like if you rewind, you'll see the parallel. And just like in the olden days, if I distance something that has a parallel, it automatically removes the parallel because distance tells the system both lines are going to be parallel. And say I want this at 120. And just like that, it's in there. Okay. Again, there are a lot more options, right? I can manipulate dimensions. Uh, let's do that. Let me grab that guy. Even though I put in that dimension, you, you'll note that I have the ability to manipulate that dimension by hovering over it. And you see the little arrowhead that appears. I'm just grabbing that little arrowhead and making the change that you want. So you have a lot of freedom with these tools. Okay, so this is just a basic intro into the sketcher. I'm going to be making a lot more of these videos, so stay tuned.